Hey, this is Triple S, and I'm just doing a little like opening box vlog. Originally, I was gonna do this whole like big video on it, and I've had it like next to my bed for like a month or two now. And I think I need to just you know take the stuff out and just put it on my shelves instead of just keeping it in there for a video I'm probably never gonna get around to do. So I think this is an easier way and no script. Just a straight up box opening. I'm just gonna show what I got in this. And I mean, it's already open, so who the fuck cares? Uh, this came from a Facebook group I'm in called Agent Retro, where basically this dude named Stefan he he posts stuff on there. You try to get it as fast as you can with a bunch of other people. Put it in your box. Pay as pay as you go. And as soon as you finish paying it off, boom, he sends it off, and it gets here pretty fast. Uh, this is my second box that I have uh, from this guy. The first one, I never really thought of doing any kind of video for it, so they're over there in the shelves. But I feel like for this one, I, like I said, I was going to do a video, an actual like straight up video for it, so screw it, this is a box opening for this now. And it's like, whatever. So let's see what's in this already open box. I already know what's inside, but you'll see. And I have my phone with me because some of these games are in Japanese, and I know damn well I'm gonna botch the hell out of them. So first off, we have two different Soccer Wars games. This one is hold on. Soccer Tyson Hanagumi Tyson Columns. Basic Columns, you may have played Columns before on Genesis in a puzzle game, kind of like Bejeweled in the Way, but with the Soccer Wars skin on it. And this one is Soccer Tyson Hanagumi Su Sushin. It's a visual novel. This one, I believe, you just work as a news reporter or something. It has like concerts and some other stuff from the Soccer Wars series. Um, ah, this one was one I was really waiting for. This one is Umihara Kawase Portable. I love this series. This is a pretty fun pl uh, platformer that you can you play as this girl with a hook shot where you just Hook shot onto the wall and so swing, get from one side of the area to the other. You can find all three games on Steam in English, and I just wanted to try to collect them all in in physical because none of them ever came to English in physical. I think we only got one game in English on I think the Vita. I can't remember right now, but I know in full English all three games, the NES. The PS1 and the Vita game are on Steam for a damn good price for all three of them. So I definitely say try it out. Or and never look up gameplay of it because it's really interesting. Also, the main girl uh, Umihara Kawase, she's in the new fighting game uh, by Nicalis called Blade Strangers. Her and like a bunch of other characters from other series like Shovel Knight, uh, some characters from Coda Princess. I. Can't wait for that game because I'm definitely gonna be playing it sure. Two other portable PSP games we got here is two SNK related ones. SNK Arcade Classics 1 and the King of Fighters Collection, Dorochi Saga. This one comes with King of Fighters 90 94 through 98. Just had to make sure. I don't want to mess that up. 98 is of course the best one. And this one comes with many SNK games from the arcades. Uh, I mean a lot of these you may know like Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury, King of, Mon King of the Monsters, Summer Showdown, Neo Turf Masters, and so on. Uh, 16 games on here, all really, really fun. I mean, love SNK. 40th Anniversary. The last PSP related thing I have in here is Dot Hat Link. 
the special edition. This is a PSP game of uh, the from the Dot Hack series. This is one we never got over here, and well, honestly, I think this was like the last. This was like the last Dot Hack game that was ever made. There was that fighting game, sure, but like for a, like a full-on story RPG, this was the final one. I don't really know much of the story other than it has to do with like time traveling and I don't know. Uh, it also comes with this one called the uh, DVD called Dot Hack Historical Disc. Basically, it goes through all the the games and the anime uh, in chronological order. I guess telling like a little uh, story for each of them. Really interesting for anybody a dot fan, fans of the Doc Hack franchise. I love. I I still hope that someday we'll get like a new game, but I don't know. It's all on Cyber Connect 2's uh, part. Next up, I have is another Soccer Wars thing. Uh, Soccer Wars for the Game Boy. Uh, this, when I saw this on on there, I was like, I had to get this. This one's just super damn cute. So what we got in here is, in this nice tall box is of course, the Game Boy Advance game, all, all of it complete, but the best part of it, what makes it so big, is Pocket Sakura, it's, just a, it's a little Tamagotchi of uh, Sakura and all the other characters from the first game, it's cute, it's cute as hell. I played it around a little bit uh, when I got the box. I, I can't I can't read it, but it's still really damn cute. And the last piece of it is Fake Grand Order Material Two. I love Fake Grand Order. Well, I love the whole Fake franchise in general, but. Figure and Order is definitely my all-time favorite mobile game. Not there's not many mobile games I play anymore other than Figure and Order. I love this game a lot. And yeah, I have put money into it. Not a lot, but I have, and I'm not ashamed because like I'd never done that for any other mobile game other than Figure and Order, and both the English and Japanese. I was playing for the Japanese version for a long time too before it finally came out in English. Now this here is it's an art book. It's an art book of just many different things, many of the different characters from the game. This is only the second one, so there's still plenty, plenty other art books of from this line. I'm, I will hope to try and cast them all. Yeah. So that's enough of that. And that's it. Thank you for your time. And I'll catch you later.